making waiver claims, so let's talk about some guys that you can drop. You can drop Matt Stafford. I've said this before, but at this point, if you're holding on to Matt Stafford, I assume you are rostering another quarterback because there is no way that you have been starting Matt Stafford steadily for the past four weeks. I just don't see where this turns around and multiple streaming options are giving you higher upside every single week. Kenyon Drake, this one should be kind of obvious, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Some of you might be wanting to hold on to the handcuff, which would in fact be Kenyon Drake for the next four to six weeks, but I just wouldn't do it. Gus Edwards' volume in his first game back was very surprising, and Kenyon Drake just straight up didn't look good. At some point, Lamar is going to improve as well, so I don't think there's going to be space for Kenyon Drake. You may not want to do this one, but if you have to, you can drop Romeo Dobbs. I like Romeo Dobbs, but unfortunately, Aaron Rodgers doesn't really like him right now. Like he literally said, everyone outside of Aaron Jones and Alan Lazard can kick rocks. Alan Lazard being injured is the only hope that you can hold on that Romeo Dobbs might be useful this week, but do you really want to start him against Buffalo? So you're probably not upgrading from him at wide receiver, but there are some running backs on waivers who, if they are there, you need to grab them. So if there is something high value on waivers that you want to grab and you're looking for somebody to drop, if you have to do it, if you have to do it, you can do Romeo Dobbs.